Well, fresh economic data came out in the United States on Wednesday. Jobs, housing, and manufacturing stats now all pointed to an improving picture, but concerns do remain. Rosa Kazan takes a look. As the U.S. presidential candidates arrived for their first debate on Wednesday, and their running mates worked the crowds, we can turn this around. Economists were pouring over new employment data from last month. The payroll processor ADP said companies hired 162,000 workers in September, fewer than the number of jobs added in August, but above expectations. U.S. manufacturing also expanded in September unexpectedly after three months of contraction. With readings above 50 showing expansion, the key manufacturing index rose to 51.5, up from 49.6 in August. The resilience of U.S. manufacturing seemed especially comforting since factory output shrank in both China and the Eurozone. Many U.S. homeowners also rushed to refinance their home mortgages as interest rates dropped to another record low last week. The refinancing application index rose almost 20 percent, hitting its highest level in more than three years. It's the kind of response the U.S. Federal Reserve had hoped for in its latest aggressive push to lower interest rates and boost the economy. Interest rates should support economic growth and employment by lowering the cost of borrowing to buy homes and cars or to finance investments. But economists caution the overall picture is far from rosy. The U.S. GDP grew just 1.3 percent in the second quarter, with the Eurozone debt crisis and the threat of a politically engineered fiscal cliff holding back hiring. The U.S. still has 4 million fewer jobs than it did before the recession, and the economy needs to add at least 200,000 jobs a month to lower the unemployment rate, predicted to rise to 8.2 percent when the big U.S. government jobs report comes out on Friday. Rosa Kazan, CCTV, Washington.